So you decided to pick up AK Zolotl, unknowing this was your future. If you've ever played a roguelike, then you know they can be a little less than forgiving, and AK Zolotl is no different. And if you haven't heard of AK Zolotl, it's a new bullet hell roguelike similar to the hit game Enter the Gungeon, where you play as an adorable bloodthirsty axolotl going on a hunger rampage. Whether you're a complete beginner or a veteran that just needs a refresher, here are five tips to help you succeed in your runs. And if you stick around, there'll be a bonus tip at the end. Let's get into it. Number five, the dodge roll. This one may be self-explanatory to veterans of the genre, and especially if you've ever played Enter the Gungeon before, then you know you can dodge through bullets. Yes, dodging actually gives you a small window of invincibility. Don't be afraid to dodge straight over a line of bullets or dodge right through an enemy if you get into a tight corner or even over traps. This mechanic is a core part of the game, so make sure to use it and use it often. Number four, HP up. So before you enter a room, there's a little symbol above the door, letting you know what you'll get for clearing it. You know, the doors with the little medical cross above them. Now, you might be thinking, duh, why is this important? Or, why would I want to go in there when I'm already full health? Well, the reward actually gives you plus one max health. Don't be like me, going on several runs, skipping the room because you're already full health, when you could benefit from four HP instead of the standard three. Being able to tank one extra hit can be extremely valuable, especially if you can get this early. This is not to be confused with Medkit, which just replenishes three missing health. Number three, utilize weapon drops. If a weapon drops during a room that you don't necessarily want, pick it up and use it in that room anyway. Chances are the weapon is better than your default weapon, and when you clear the room, you can pick up the weapon you had, ensuring you save ammo for later rounds when you really need it. And who knows, by constantly cycling through different weapons, you might find a new love for a gun you originally hated. Since you can only have two guns and can't get rid of your primary, this tip will make sure you're clearing rooms with special weapons constantly and can help really mow down some more annoying monsters more quickly. Number two, traps. Utilize traps to your advantage. A lot of enemies just move at you in a straight line, so you can lure them over the spike traps, near explosive or poison barrels, and use what the map gives you to your advantage. And while some traps don't seem to do a lot of damage, even helping you kill a small squirrel or two can really cut down on the number of projectiles you have to dodge and save you some precious time and ammo. Number one, the katana. If you're still having a difficult time dodging bullets, then try the katana. Not only can you dodge through bullets, but now you can cut through them too. This even works on bigger boss attacks as well, completely negating their attacks. Once I figured this out, I really enjoyed the katana quite a bit more, instead of trying to be sneaky with it and waiting for my opportunity to strike from the shadows. You can just charge ahead and slice your way to victory. Plus, you can practice your best samurai impression. It's a win-win, really. Now here's the bonus tip. Don't be afraid to play on axolittle mode. If you're still struggling, even after these five tips, or maybe you just want to relax a bit while playing the game to unwind, there is a difficulty mode called axolittle, which makes the gameplay easier so you can just play more casually and enjoy what the game has to offer. I know some people think that they have to play on the harder difficulty, but you're not lesser than anyone else by trying it. Just do what's comfortable for you so you can enjoy the game at your own pace. There's absolutely no shame in going this route. Well, there you have it. Five tips to help you succeed on your journey to becoming the greatest axolotl ever. Let me know down in the comments which tip helped you the most, or let me know your favorite tip to help others in this new roguelike. If you enjoyed the video, consider leaving a like and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching.